Hey YouTube, the Motor Missile over here. I just want to show you guys uh, a quick little video of a sheath I made for my uh, Spyderco Sage 2. I did a video on this knife before. Um, this is the Spyderco Sage 2 by uh, Chris Reeves. It's um, uh, CPM S30V steel. I don't know if that's going to show up in the camera. And this is uh, pretty much a tribute knife by Spyderco to uh, Chris Reeves. I'm sure everybody's familiar with the Sabenza folder. And um, it's a great knife for the price. I think I paid uh, 160 bucks for this knife, right around that. And um, it is just excellent, excellent knife. Absolutely one of my favorites. It's got a frame lock, titanium handles, um, again, that CPM S30V, which is a great scale, uh, steel, I should say, and this is just some, uh, leather I made out of a hide similar to this, um, Satan's Barber, which I have a link to his channel on my channel, he's got, he's the man to go to for how-to leather videos, and I have this baked and, uh, coated in some wax, and I got a little bit of, a color variants going on, which I like. You can see uh, it snaps right in there with a nice click. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Really sturdy, cool looking, rugged, rugged styled sheath. I like it. Um, and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show my little sheath here. And then uh, my cool little spider co, which is, I mean, just one of the most comfortable knives. I mean, the build quality is so good. The only thing um, that happened was, you know, it, it has a, a wire clip which uh, sit, r sits right underneath this screw here and um, people really praise the clip. They love the design. It's it's sleek. It looks like a paper clip style and um, it just barely hooked the edge of a wall as I was brushing against it and it snapped. Um, you know, so it's a wire shaped clip and it snapped one of the on one side, which is a, a disadvantage in my view compared to like if it was a solid stainless steel clip or something instead of the wire design, it, it probably would have uh, withstood that impact. But because it was the wire design uh, clip, it, it broke easily. So, but uh, as you see, you know, I made this sheath without the um, clip. I made sheaths before with the clip and I like I like having this sheath on my belt so I don't really need a wire clip but I'll show you how sharp my little spider co is. Oops. It is sharp. I'm just at an awkward angle here. You can see it's super, it's hair popping sharp. And the way I keep it that sharp is uh, I use the same tool leather and uh, I just rub a little bit of green compound on it. You can see that's just crazy sharp. And um, I'll strop it back and forth. The last video I made, you saw my little my little strop, my little leather strop with the green compound I made. Nothing fancy, but very, very efficient. So, oops, whatever. It's a sharp knife, you guys saw it. Um, I highly recommend this knife if you want um, a uh, CPM S30V. You know, with titanium handles, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than a Sabenza or anything like that. And honestly, I think it's it's better in some ways. Uh, you know, and also the Bradley Alias and other knives. The value in this knife is excellent. It's just an excellent knife. Really, really cool knife. Yep, well, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, the next knife video I make is hopefully going to be on one of my three river blades. Uh, I'm waiting for him to get in his production 
Blades. If you guys don't know John at Three River Blades, definitely go check him out. I can't wait to get my hands on one of his production Master Chiefs. And um, also, you know, you guys all know Gav Koo. He makes excellent knives. I'm talking to someone about buying a, a second ni secondhand knife from him off YouTube. I just really want to own a Gav Koo knife, and he doesn't always have them for sale. And I don't always not necessarily dislike what he has but there's just some of his stuff I like a lot more than his others and he just randomly sells knives um you know he'll make a video he doesn't have a website or anything like John at Three River Blades where you can just go and buy stuff so um yeah check John at Three River Blades check out Gavku um thoughts and prayers out to everybody in the northeast who was affected by Hurricane Sandy um Y'all stay safe. Have a good weekend.